Sound engineers are headed to the new Bay Bridge. I'm Casey Langfeller, sound editor at Skywalker Sound. Benny Burt, also a sound effect editor at Skywalker Sound. Burt, the day before, had recorded penguin sounds at the San Francisco Zoo for use in an upcoming animated movie. Can you tell us the name of the movie? No. Sorry. <laughs> Langfelder just won an Emmy for his sound work on the HBO movie Hemingway and Gellhorn. Today, it's Skywalker to the Skyway. Today we're going to do a little um, little recording inside the uh, inside the Bay Bridge Skyway. We're uh, we're partnered with uh, with Skywalker Sound. They're going to set up some microphones and and actually record the acoustics of the inside of the bridge. We should go inside. Get you guys uh, signed in. They are joined by sound technicians John Borland and Bailey Yang. They carry in eight microphones and eight digital recorders along with the company cables and stands, 30 grand in recording gear. They sign waivers and get safety instructions. There's an adventure aspect of this today, Ben. And so the, the, the adventure aspect is when I, when I was getting this all cleared through our engineers, they were like, well, why don't you go in the column if you really want to get something that reverberates? It hasn't been checked out. What, what we had them do is blow it out mm -hmm. because that part of the bridge has been built for a couple of years and the air in there has gotten a little bit stale. Mm -hmm. So we've had it open. We put some AC ducting down there and some fans and, uh, and blown it out so we, nice. it doesn't stink. I mean, it wouldn't die down there, but it might be hard to work there for any period of time. Right. Along with the sound technicians, to the right are Nathan Hurst and Ariel Zambalich from Wired Magazine to report on the event, and writer Dan McNichol. Dan McNichol is a best-selling author, former PIO for the Big Dig in Boston. He's writing the definitive story on the east band of the Bay Bridge right now. So just stay very close to the convoy so that I can explain that, that you're with me. Okay. These cars behind me are with me. Okay. The first security checkpoint. Under the existing bridge and then onto the deck of the new Bay Bridge and another security checkpoint. License information is gathered. No problem, that's just fine. The deck destination is midway along the Skyway. The journey will take us over the side of the bridge and then actually to the inside of the bridge and down into the column on the right. The Skywalker sound crew will be capturing echoes, strange noises, even screams. Inside one of the biggest steel and concrete encased echo chambers in the world, the New Bay Bridge. They're going to use this in their, in their sound library for major motion pictures that, uh, that regularly come through there. But you know, why we think it's interesting is it preserves the inside, uh, a really unique part of the bridge, the inside of it that we won't be able to allow the public to go into once we open. First, they traverse the length of the span. If you think it's dark here, wait until Bart Ney and Casey Langfelder begin their descent into the column. Do you have a flashlight? Yeah, I have a flashlight. Okay. Down two ladders to a staircase, which does have lighting, and then an eight-story descent to 20 feet below the surface of the bay. If you were outside looking, it would be down this tower and 20 feet below this manhole cover. And it's all just to scout the location without the sound gear. What are we going to find in here? Crazy, man. I don't know. Oh, dude, this is the casing. This is the casing. Our video camera had trouble with the low light conditions. You can hear their discovery. Oh, my feet are going to be so thick. Yeah, this is a steel footing box right here. Worth it? All right, we got to climb back out. It's, it's cold and damp, and um, it's got an interesting smell. It smells like stale air. Um, yeah, it's basically water about this, this tall. See on my shoes there, all wet. Well, cold, cold, damp, and cool. Yes. Right? Exactly. So tell them about the echo. Cool is an awesome. Yeah, great echo, great echo, so. But it'll work out. We're gonna try and record this, but we're gonna do it on our way back, I think. It's kind of neat to revisit this part of the Skyway. The steel casings down there at the bottom were, um, were fabricated in Texas, shipped through the Panama Canal, and set down inside these massive coffer dams that we used to have out here in the middle of the bay. The concrete was poured around them, so you'll never see the steel again. The first session is to record a hatch door opening and then slamming shut.
sounded like a 20 second long reverb. Sounded like that, big th thunderous and squeaky. What we want to do is record this space and then be able to run whatever sound we want to through it. So if we wanted to run a, a sound of, um, oh, I don't know, um, footsteps walking in this environment, we could take the sound of uh, the recording we make in here and turn it into a re reverb and we would put the footsteps underneath it and it would sound like we're walking in here even when we're, we're not. The sound recording gear is spread out at 25 feet, 75 feet, and 150 feet to record the sound of a starting pistol being fired. It's going to be loud. The, the distance the sound is traveling is 1.2 miles from its point all the way out to either end. The chamber that we're in is about a half a span, nine segments. It's about 225 feet where the loudest sound will be. What's that? Six shots. Six, okay. And they will also record primal human sounds. Should be interesting. Then the long trek back to the column for the second ascent to the concrete and steel bridge foundation that will be used one time only as a sound recording studio. See right there that manhole? That's the top of the foundation. So this is all underwater down here. The shoot was a success. The Bay Bridge's acoustic signature will go down in Hollywood history. We can't predict what movie or movies will use the sound. The Skywalker crew doesn't rule out the Star Wars franchise. It could. It's quite possible, especially now that we know there's more Star Wars coming. On the Skyway section of the new Bay Bridge, Mark Jones reporting. Hey. Come on, come yeah. on, you can do better than that. Ah. Are you kidding? Ah. 